All right, welcome everybody to Now You Know Movie Show Game of Thrones what? recap season seven, seven. episode six. six. Did I get that six. right? Yes. yes. This is the penultimate seven, episode. Yep. Which uh, is usually the craziest. Yes, yep. and it was crazy. It was jam packed. It was awesome. We have actually had to send Nick off to another quiet room <laughs> because he is trying to catch up with us, yeah. and uh, he's too close. He's on yeah. he's on season four. And he actually he, would know what we're talking about. Yeah, now, that's right. So we don't want to. Uh, ruin we don't want to. I mean, that would be ruining a life. Right yes, there. exactly. So we, we can't spoil anything for Nick. No, at this point. So no. So we no owe it to Nick. him. He's got headphones on. He cannot hear us. Right, yes. Nick. Right. Okay. Good. Now cool. let's see if he can catch up by next week. Yes, yes. he's got one week to catch he's up. Trying. He's got a mission. He's trying. All right. I just got to say, big sigh of relief, because yeah. I thought near the end of that episode that Jon Snow was dead or turning into a White Walker, and I was like, if Jon Snow turns into a White Walker, I don't think I can keep watching the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Are you guys relieved, too? I knew yes. he was coming back. Yeah, I didn't, he, he I didn't did. think he was going to die. Well, I didn't either, but, I mean, when he's... I mean, it was very... I was like, who could possibly save yeah. him now? Yes. Daenerys is gone. All his friends are gone. Mm-hmm. What, Arya is going to show up? I, mean, I thought that, that uh, Rhaegon, Rhaegon, back to yeah, I thought Rhaegon was going to come back oh, again. Oh, that would have been cool. But yeah. No. yeah. No, I, but but right. we got cold hands. Cold hands coming to the rescue. So I guess it was nice cold to see hands. his character, Benjen, you know, or cold hands as he's known. Cold hands. Now, is he part uh, walker? Like, yeah, he's like this weird, like, half walker, half not. Yeah. He's in this weird limbo. You can see his, like, blue veins and, like, yeah. he's, like, half dead. Yeah, we well, were kind of introduced to him last he season. He timed it just right. Yeah, that was pretty good timing. I wonder in the earlier scene when they, we saw that campfire that kind of lured those White Walkers over if that oh, was his campfire. I think that was a trap from John. Snow. I wasn't sure what, how to think about it because I could mm. see it going either way um, because those White Walkers were already there. And right. how would he have gotten, how would that party have gotten dry wood? True. Right. So, yeah. So, I, I, my feeling was that it was uh, Benjen's campfire. Mm. Interesting. That makes sense. And once yeah. they saw the zombies, uh, the yeah. White Walkers all stopped. But it could have been a trap, too. I'm not sure. You know. So I think we should talk about the fact that when you kill a White Walker, all the Whites die, too. Yes. That's very oh. helpful. Yeah. That's a good um, thing to know. I was very confused when it initially happened, because there was still one left. Yeah. Right. So clearly that one must have been he turned by, a by like, a different yes. White Walker. Mm-hmm. But at first I was like, what just happened? All mm-hmm. the White Walkers exploded except for one. Mm-hmm. Like, what is going on right now? Super helpful. Yeah. Yes. Because now the war can be be a lot faster. Right. Yes. Go go get the king. Go to the source. Yes. So when Tormund was getting dragged into the, the ice mm-hmm. water. I thought that was it. I thought that was there it There were so many moments in this episode yeah. where it just seemed like anyone was going to die at any moment. Were and you guys disappointed that no one big really died other than... No, I liked well, how they handled it. I, I loved how the red shirts in this episode weren't known until the moment they died. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you were just kind of like, who was that that died? And then yeah. you're like, ah. Oh, yeah, you kind of had this like a little bit of relief. And it was kind of just kept the tension up. Oh, but well, someone big did die. We lost t- one kind of minor character and one big one. So, I mean. One literally big. Yes. <sighs> that was. Y- yes, right? Syrian, the dragon. Yeah. Wow. Yes. That was. <sighs> Heartbreaking. You know, it's like, and he's not one of like the main dragon either, but they really did a good job of making you feel for this CGI dragon. Like I, in my head, I knew like we're probably gonna lose a dragon at some point. Yeah. Like they, we, they have to raise the stakes somehow. But I didn't expect to have that visceral reaction. It's so brutal. <sighs> and then the way to, he goes down to br- to to just watch him sink into the water. Oh, the whole thing, just like ah. the scream of pain he gets when the freaking spear goes right mm-hmm. through him, and like, I just all felt the blood so bad pouring out of him, and the fire, and it, the way his body just hits the ice, like mm-hmm. so, like just goes limp in this. Oh, I was. That was very sad. It was really and then hard having to watch. To watch him come back as a white walker. Oh my God. I've been calling ice dragons for a while now, and now, I wasn't expecting it to come about this way, but. Now are they going to breathe blue fire or ice? That's that's kind of yeah. the question. I feel like it will be ice, mm-hmm. just because that's kind of their whole thing with the yeah. White Walkers is ice. So, so oh. I mean, we're going to see the Night King on a dra- dragon. Yeah. And that's going to be... That just changed the game. It yeah. really did. The, he now has a weapon of mass destruction. Mm-hmm. The, the playing field has been evened quite a bit now. Oh. Can I bring up something that yeah. kind of bothered me? Yeah. What's up? Uh, Jon Snow knows that he's going to be going past the wall to yeah. fight the Walkers. He's mm-hmm. just been on an island full of dragon glass. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Did he bring any with him for his comrades or himself? No. Why? If he, if he brought some shards of dragonglass, 
I mean, because we all know from Sam that that's yeah. a useful thing. Why didn't he fill his pockets full of I know. dragon glass? Well, yeah, why didn't they all have like dragon glass weapons? Yeah. I mean, John obviously has his Valerian steel sword, so he didn't need one per se, but yeah. And well, he's trying to give it to Jorah. Yeah, he almost <laughs> gave up his sword. Yeah, he almost gave it up to Jorah there, yeah, I know. Um, oh. And, and I, I like that little detail of how they changed the hilt of the sword, and that's why Jorah didn't recognize it as his family's sword. Right, because um, it has the white wolf on yes. it now, instead right. of the bear. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I gotta say, as awesome as this episode was, I still hated their hate their plan of catching a <laughs> yeah. White Walker to try to convince yeah. Cersei that this yeah. is something she needs to deal with. Yeah, I just don't think it's gonna work. I don't think Cer Cersei cares about anything other than herself. And yeah. I just want to say, if we're on a little island yeah. surrounded by White Walkers, yeah. and we're about to die. You, we shouldn't worry so much about the White Walker that we're trying to save. But yeah, th this whole plan really did seem kind of weak. Especially since it didn't like if you were going there to kill the 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 main king, that would yeah. be one thing. But yeah, to bring back this walker to do this convoluted thing to get Cersei, blah blah blah. It's like you know what? Take your damn dragons, go to Red the, yeah. the King's Landing, yep. and friggin' just burn it down. Yeah. Well, why why are we stressing so much? I don't know. Well, it's, people don't like the conquerors. I think that Daenerys wants the people to like her, and she can't do that by creating destruction. I know. She'd just but, be the Mad Queen. But she, yeah. Uh, it's just, I just feel like they could still have their meeting with Cersei and not bring a White Walker. Yeah. They could just be like, hey, we got dragons. Do you want to bend the knee to us or are we just going to have to kill you right here? Cersei doesn't have a lot have going a for her. They already have a meeting set up. It's happening. Right. You know? I mean, but you, it's you on her Rolodex. Too. It's, on her, exactly. it's on her calendar. The, the amount of things that they lost in this little I know. Well, that's journey. why John, I mean, that's why John says in, when he's in bed on the ship, yeah. he's, I'm so sorry. We, we, this was a bad idea. Bad idea. Yeah, this was not worth it. Like, Let's yep, talk about right. that scene. Yeah. yeah I mean, he bended oh. the, well, he didn't he bend his knee. Figuratively bent the knee. He bent the knee. Yep. We're seeing some, some real heated fireworks. Fireworks. With the hand holding. Yeah. I gotta say, I know they're aunt and nephew, but yeah, I'm, I'm digging this. I'm shipping You're this. You're shipping it? You're shipping, shipping it? it? You're officially shipping it? I like that. I mean, she just saw John sacrifice himself. Not only that, but she saw his wounds from literally getting stabbed in the heart and taking, right. a, taking a knife to the heart for his people. Yep. She now knows these things. She now knows that White Walkers are real. Yep. So that further indicates Which that John Snow is a good king. Now is so clear that that's all this was really meant to do. Yeah. Was to show Danny that these are real. Right. Not and that he not, called her Danny. Yeah. My God, yeah. that made me so happy. Yeah. I mean, not that the. Literally, that's the only reason John did this, but the, clearly the show did right, this yeah. for this reason. You know? To put the plot in this yeah. direction. Just to kind of get an emotional, we can all be on the same page. Mm -hmm. Like, all right, White Walker is really bad. Mm -hmm. Right. Maybe we should deal with them. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Yeah. Cersei's going to team up with the Night King. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> she would. Could you imagine? She would, yeah. she could. She would gladly team up with the Night King if it meant she would rule. Yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. And you know what I think we're getting next episode? What? How about a little... Clegane Bowl, Mountain versus Clegane Bowl. Mountain. He's going to the. He's I going think, to because they're going to have their. On. They're going to have he's their going. meeting, That's and I think so Cersei doesn't really have an army anymore. So I think there's going to be some sort of situation where they're like, "Hey, guess what? We'll settle this right here, right now. Ba trial by combat. Hmm. Wow. Mountain versus the Hound. Wow. I'm Clegane calling it. Bowl. I'm calling it. That will, is a great prediction. I'm calling. Well, it. we've been waiting we for the Clegane Bowl. That is a great prediction. Yeah, yeah. The, the Clegane Bowl has been something that people have been talking about for years with the books because yeah. there's people just want to see those their brothers, mm -hmm. you know, their whole backstory. They mm -hmm. just want to see them get after it. And I think it's going to happen next episode. Wow, that's yeah. a good idea. I think. Yeah. And he does get stuck when that fire pops up, right? I mean, he oh, just yeah. couldn't do a that, thing. That was frustrating. I'm like, yeah. oh come on, dude! I thought you were beyond this now. I think he redeemed himself when he saved. With the I can't torment? Think he, yeah, torment. Tor torment. But he, by what, throwing the, the damn rocks. I mean, yeah, he was, he, yeah, that was a dumb move by the Hound. I was like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like, why? It was really just like... And then I was also frustrated, too, because he had the war hammer, and when they were starting to approach, I'm like, just start breaking up the I ice. Know. Yeah, break just the whole ice around your Start island. breaking it up, yeah. 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 Like, what are you doing? I think when uh, it was really powerful when they got to the edge of the, the hill there, yeah. when they were back being cornered, yeah. and they started, like, bumping into each other and turning around, I'm like, right. oh, my God, wait, you're... You're Jon Snow. You're Jorah. Like yeah. we can't kill each other. Yeah, and, and the, it was just oh. and the uh, dead are just piling up to get up the hill there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you know, of course, the dragons came to save the day. Yep. and one of them sacrificed their life. I tried to block out the fact that this was like a thousand miles, and that she yeah. they sent a raven and a dragons. Okay. Apparently, someone on Reddit did the math, and supposedly this could have all happened over the course of four days. Oh, okay. So well, they were you just... saw the sun go down. 
and come up. Which four oh, okay. days makes it seem a little more reasonable, but All I mean, right. they, they, they I thought be, it was that afternoon. They would be in rough shape though, like four days without food and water, you know. Yeah. But you know, I mean, it's they had their alcohol. Give, yeah, yeah, they, they did. They did have them. Um, and, and they did have a, a nice barbecued member of the team. Oh. That's true. I mean, they didn't show it. So while we're talking about barbecued members of the <laughs> team, what is this flaming sword thing? Whew, I mean, how does it work, Brent? Do you know? Is it magic? I don't, well, I mean, he's part of the, you know, the Brotherhood of the Light. The so Lord of I, Light. I'm assuming this is some sort of like, you know, red, you know, red priest magic, even though mm. uh, Barak isn't technically a red priest. Mm. The red priest is the one who died. And he, he can't come back to life yeah, anymore. Barrick's yeah, Barak's on it. his last so that's life. It. He's on his last life now, which he seems okay with mm -hmm. you know, at this he, point. He I mean, he's been brought die. back six times. He's like, so. I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. Get me out of this He place. knows he was back for a reason. He yeah. knows that it's to try and maybe kill the Night King. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, I don't know what we're going to see. I don't know who's going to kill the Night King, yeah. but it's going to be tough to kill him. Let's go to the two sisters. Oof, uh, yeah. the little drama. sisterly love problem yeah. here. I don't like this plot line at all. I think it's stupid. And I think it's a waste of time. I'm going to be completely honest. You, you think that their father didn't raise them to fight like this? I like, think it's dumb. I just think that like Arya's playing these mind games with Sansa. And it's like, you know that was years ago. You know she was a little girl. Yeah. Uh, um, she was... Her hand was forced. I, I feel like I feel a little differently about it. I think this okay. is showing us like what you know Arya has been through, how that like kind of like corrupted this little girl into yeah. this kind of like murdering assassin or whatever. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was like what ten years old when all this stuff started happening to her. True. So I feel like this is like not completely unrealistic that she would turn into this kind of like I don't know scary <laughs> scary little. Monster. I mean, or whatever. she is a scary little. But well, I, I mean, still feel like she has a bigger plan here because she, if she wanted to, she could have killed Sansa. But let, yeah, let's didn't. not forget that scene early on, season one, I think it was, where, yeah. where Arya has to watch her father die, and yeah. she sees that Sansa is right there yeah. watching it happen. So in her mind, as a little girl, she's yeah. like, "You had a part in it." I think that Sansa went onto her list at that yeah. point. Sansa's so smart, though. She immediately calls out. This is what they want. They want us fighting. Yeah. This is what yeah, Arya, you see, Arya. This is Arya what Littlefinger wants. Yeah. Right? This is what Littlefinger wants, and Arya is just. Right. It's, she's totally giving Littlefinger what he wants here. I it's, don't know. Unless it's a, a double bluff or something. Yeah. Triple I mean, bluff. If I don't it know. is, it's a double triple bluff <laughs> that Sansa is not a part of. Right. She, I, I think, think Arya is going to kill Ar Littlefinger. I think Arya just, or yeah, Arya wants Sansa to be in this position. She wants her to feel like the things that she's saying to her, but she still has her plan to get Littlefinger and she wants Littlefinger to think that, you know, she's, she's making a fight. That she's falling for his trap, but she's not. Um, I hope that's what it is, because Arya yeah, seems smarter just, than My this. initial thought was that Sansa and Arya are both in on this, but clearly, based on this episode, that's right. not the case. Yeah, because they were just, alone. I think Arya is flying solo. She's a lone wolf here. Interesting. So. Now, Arya is so small. Yeah. She... Can she play a bigger person? I guess she has in the past, right? So I, I think, guess magically it, things change. I think yeah. there is a, a little I bit of magic I, involved. In this episode, I feel like they defined it slightly more to not maybe explicitly. I mean, basically she said she can become Be, another person. Yeah. Right, right. So clearly that's what's happening. And I felt like it made it more clear that the person has to be dead yeah. in order right. for her to become that. She has right. to take their face. Because she said, I could take your face right now, right. like mm -hmm. to Sansa. Basically, you know... Indicating that like she could yeah. kill her, take her face, right. but she doesn't. So oh. Arya knows that Sansa's gonna run to Littlefinger yeah. with all this, and so yeah, I, I could see that being part of a bigger plan. Yeah, I think that's a good point. Yeah, interesting. So I hope we get Clegane wow. Bowl. Yes, yes. I I wonder what's gonna happen. I think we're gonna get some good Cersei Jamie stuff next episode. Yeah. Do you think it's gonna be the end of uh, Cersei next episode? Oh no, I don't think no? so. Because we still have the whole White Walkers to deal with for the next. No? I think Cersei will make it into season eight, personally. Okay. I think so. Um, I'm tossed on this one. I, I feel, feel like, like someone big has to go. We're getting a trial by combat, so I personally, I think that's definitely happening. So either the Hound or the Mountain are going to go down, or both, potentially. Yeah. And then I could see Cersei going down. Yeah. I just I can see a lot of people going I down. Just hope we don't, I just hope we don't lose Daenerys. Yeah, I don't think Daenerys should go. I don't, I don't see I, why she's going. She's I really the, hope she does the winner She here. should like, send Jon and or that crew, maybe Tyrion. Yeah. Send them. She should not go herself. No. She's going to go. All right, guys. There's a lot of pressure here. Yeah. Hopefully Nick can join us on the next uh, episode recap. So we'll see. I don't think we can beat Brent's uh, prediction. For Game Bowl, it's happening. I mean, for Game Bowl, I'm sorry, guys. If you think happening. you can one-up that, go for it down below. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next episode. Now you know.
It's I'm, definitely happening. Click I'm, gamble. All right, I'm let's test it. Nick. Nick, there's a fire in here. We need you. Get the fire extinguisher. Nick. I'm dying. 